here from the Angels, Los Angeles, California. I'm Ed Cohen with Jay Williams. And Jay, you always need to bring your best in terms of dress wear. Oh, and I got the really good stuff on today. I spent a lot of money in the stores, probably more than I should have. But you know what? Let's focus on the game. The credit card bill is on its way. So is the start of this one. The opening tip won by the Lakers as we get started here at Staples Center. Schroeder to James. Jay, Magic and Kobe each won five titles. How are you going to judge LeBron James' legacy in L.A.? <laughs> LeBron James wins one championship in L.A. That means he will set himself apart. He'll have won four championships in three different cities. Now, that is polarizing for some fans. That still does not take away from the overall greatness and the legacy of LeBron James. Sixers have the basketball. Davis with the block. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Jumper's good. Woo, did you see that? Eyes to the rim and the rest was all net. Simmons into the front court. Down just a couple. Gasol sends it away. Here's Schroeder with it. Looking to make something happen. From the painted area, won't go down. What happened is he didn't balance himself off the defender. He didn't initiate contact. He allowed the contact to initiate him. We could break that down later in the broadcast, but that's why he missed that easy chip. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a heart foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. LeBron James. Try to cash in on the three-point play. For his career, 73%. Missed it at the line. Knocks it down from mid-range. Oh, man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size. But in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. To Davis. Caldwell Pope. Gentavious Caldwell Pope. Missed his first. That one goes. Every hero needs a good sidekick. Nice find to set up a three. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball, but sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Ben Simmons at the line for a chance at a three-point play. 56% for his career. Off the mark at the line. To Caldwell Pope. Davis. Now pass. Stolen by the Sixers. Over to the right side. Josh Richardson buries the wide open three. That's too easy. Ooh, that confidence level is so superior. Whenever you start jacking back on defense before the ball even goes through the net, that speaks for itself. To Caldwell Pope. It's James. It's received. Well defended. To Richardson. Joel Embiid. Two for two. That's what you want. Old school equals high percentage. Across midcourt, it's Schroeder. Down two. Gasol, good for two. Great footwork once again. 
He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays, no one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Slams it down. Big finish for Joel Embiid. I mean, with so much talk these days about three-point shooting and the spacing on the court and having versatile athletic wings, sometimes when you have a dominant big man, you keep giving him the ball. You let him be that anomaly. Lakers ball. Here we go. Here we go. to shoot for Los Angeles. The shot clock expires. Points, high percentage. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. To Caldwell Pope, fires the three. Not that time. Try to cash in. And the rebound pulled down by Davis. Kentavious Caldwell Pope, 2 of 4 now. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Philadelphia with the basketball. Simmons to Embiid. Slams it down. Jay, this is getting scary fast. If you're the defense, you have to deny him the ball. Maybe throw a box in one or a zone. Maybe even throw the kitchen sink because he's putting on a show in the first quarter. Anthony Davis makes it look easy as he hits the three. Ed, let me tell you how this one goes. It ain't no fun if the homies can't have some. Everyone's getting a piece of the rock tonight. And they call the foul. Not the bridge. Jay, that's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Substitution being made in this one. Crossover gets inside and the slam dunk. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out and beast attack that paint. You get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. Oh, Anthony Davis still guarded well there. Finds a way to hit the trifecta. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making the shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing. To Caldwell Pope, James Davis, that his third three in this first quarter alone. And the defense has to push up on the offensive player. Don't let him have clear vision of the basket. Sixers control. Simmons to MB. Joel Embiid. He's been lights out so far. Five for five. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. James to Davis. Oh, I had him going there for a James to Davis from long range. Had made his first three, but that shot off the mark. To Simmons. Nice pass to set things up. And a rim rocker, Joel Embiid. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Here's Simmons with it up top. They trail by one. Marcus oh, away. That one's in the 15th bro. Huge denial. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Number zero. Simmons to Embiid. And 
Stroke shift. Hand down, man down. You got to get up and contest the shot. To Caldwell Pope. Kuzma. Four throw issues for Kuzma. Hand in his face, he drills it. And the three-point shot of the offense applies so much pressure on the defense, you can no longer build your teams inside out. The new way, you build your team outside in. He connects at all the time in the world. Too easy. Every NBA player has a superpower. His, obviously, is that depth perception because that trajectory leads the ball to the net every time. Davis to Kyle Kuzma. Gets it at the top of the key. Davis to Caldwell Pope. Let's it fly from long range. Rebound cleared by Philly to Simmons. Anthony Davis with a piece. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Cash is in. Someone has to get into a zip code. The great defenders, the ones that really earn their paycheck, are the ones that refuse to be screened. You stuck to that screen like Velcro. This will be out of bounds off of Davis. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Inside the paint on that one. I know this for a fact, Ed. Ben Simmons wanted to channel his inner Bill Russell in the NBA Awards as he stood up on that stage accepting that Rookie of the Year trophy, looking down at all the people that hated on him and didn't think that after a year of being injured that he can come back and be the one that everybody thought he could be. One of only seven players in NBA history to lead his team to 50-plus wins while accepting the Rookie of the Year trophy. Kits to Kyle Kuzma. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. And sometimes less is more. Simple is the best way. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. 2 MB. Using the post advantage there and the finish at the rim. Jay, they've had no answer for this guy. He's been on fire this first quarter. That's the way you take it right to your opponent. You attack right out of the game. Davis to Matthews. Kuzma to Matthews for three. Well contested. Wesley Matthews can't hit it. And throws it down. And that is the sign of an unselfish team. When everybody in transition thinks they have a chance to get the ball because you have a willing passer, somebody willing to make other players on his team look great, that's only going to force your players to play that much harder on offense and give you more energy on the defensive end. Fires the three. That's rebounded by Philadelphia. Simmons with it. He'll run the offense. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. Simmons to MB. It down with authority. An easy two. Get back on defense. To Davis. Here's a chance from long range. On the catch and shoot. Defense do the math. You force him to take tough twos. You'll probably have a better chance to win this game if you can slow down the pace. To MB. Markeith Morris swats it. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. 
Anthony Davis. He's now five for six. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Markeith Morris rejects it. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Al Horford snares the rebound. In the front court comes Simmons. They can get a two for one if they play this right. A drive down, but the shot stays out. Matthews to Kyle Kuzma. Wesley Johnson snatching it out of the air. Here's one of the biggest secrets as we move into this new age of basketball, especially in the draft room. You have to draft players with size and length. That's the biggest deterrent for any team offensively. Going to launch beyond the arc. He'll let one fly from half court. That'll do it for the first quarter. The Lakers have the lead. One quarter in the books, and Jay, naturally, both coaches wanted to get more stops. But boy, was that fun to watch. Both teams are on fire. But speaking of competitive juices, one of the beautiful things that we heard during the timeout in a team huddle, you heard multiple voices that weren't the coach saying how much more they needed to fight in order to win this game. Oh, trust me, the intensity level is going to pick up a couple of notches. James to Kyle Kuzma goes to the left side. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Wesley Matthews. Sixers have the basketball. Quinn Cook against Schroeder. To Richardson. Has a chance. Gets a look. Can't hit. Gets toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. LeBron into the front court, down by one. LeBron James, that's three now on four shots. When the ball is in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. It's Cook with the basketball. We're a minute into the second quarter. Oh, good defense by the Lakers. They come away with the steal. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. LeBron James trying to cash in on the three-point play. He struggled so far. The free throw good. Caps off the three-point play. The lead is four. Philadelphia with the basketball. James into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Not done yet. And a putback slam. And I got a chance to hear a lot of the conversation at the bench. And one of the things they called out was owning the backboards. Looks like the message is really getting through. To Horford. There it is, Al Horford. He's finally on the board, makes his first shot. It's really a dope thing when passing becomes infectious, but don't become overly passive. Still take your shots when they're there. To Matthews. 
Over to the right side. Schroeder. James. Can't go down. Smothering defense. Shooter shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Sixers control it. To Horford. Drives, but a shot won't go down. To Kyle Kuzma. Nothing going here on that drive. To Kyle Kuzma. Dennis Schroeder. That one off the mark. It's no good. Shot from the lane. Won't go. Matthews. To Kyle Kuzma. James. Gets it in the left corner. Kyle Kuzma knocks it down. That was a tough shot. And I don't know why the defense continues to help on guys that drive. Make them take shots over your bigs. By you helping more, you're just leaving three-point shooters open on the perimeter. Screen coming. Richardson. From the painted area, won't go down. To Richardson. The pass taken away by the Lakers. To James. The oh, rock in the rim. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. LeBron James able to recover with the block. Just incredible timing on that swap. To Matthews, beyond the arc for three. And Wesley Matthews, zero hesitation from a pure shooter. Don't seem shocked. This is how the game is played these days. Shooting a three is like shooting a layup. Knocked loose. Lakers come up with it. Look at a push. Ah, the monster stuff. Now a whistle and a timeout for Philadelphia as they'll talk things over here in the second quarter. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. On the drive, it's Cook, but he can't finish. To James. Throws it down. He was ready right at the tip. What a first half he's having. He came out, out of the gate, attacked, found ways to get the rim. Now look how easy the game is coming to him. To Horford. Oh, he had it. To James. Caldwell Pope. A bad pass as the Sixers come up with the steal. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together collectively, you will be able to great passing team. Count the basket at the rim. 
You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Two MB. Well defended, shot no good. If it was anyone else, they'd be back on the bench for taking that shot. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. 2MB. Not that time. To James. Line drive. James to Caldwell Pope. Down to five on the 24. Caldwell Pope. Good offense, beating good defense. Kentavious Caldwell Pope with the basket. That shot was nice, but that pass, that was the real highlight. He's always find a way to get the best shot available. Driving right to the basket. Montrez Harrell sends it away. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Caldwell Pope. Cook to bring it into the front court. Down a bundle. Kyle Kuzma pins it. Just erasing mistakes left and right. Ugh. To James. Caldwell Pope. To Kyle Kuzma. Fires the three. And made his first couple, but he misses there. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. This is becoming a runaway. They're getting to the rim at will, probably because we're watching Matador defense. They probably want to get in the way of your defender if they keep trying to attack the rim. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. And he's fouled. A trip to the line coming up. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Ben Simmons, a couple of free throws on the way. He's struggled so far. First free throw is good. So he hits the first, misses the second. Caldwell Pope to James. Stuffs it down with authority. It's not every day that you see a 6'9", 265-pound freight train coming down the lane. You probably want to step out of the way. Sixers have the basketball. Knocked loose. Lakers have it. Keep your foot on the gas, but don't get too reckless. Gets to the basket and scores. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Simmons, great feed. And a rim rocker, Joel Embiid. This type needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you
guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Oh, Ben Simmons. He's 5 for 10, shooting 50%. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. And counted at the rim. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. James, no good. That's great defense. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Gasol to Kyle Kuzma. Schroeder. Can't connect. Simmons with it. His guy's down big. Embiid stumps it down with authority. It's so amazing when you get a chance to see a player in his own space. It's almost as if the defense doesn't exist. He can go left, he can go right, he can attack. He's playing on that court by himself. Gasol, three for three in this first half. Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as the difference maker in this ball game is how they are the basketball. They're not establishing a pivot foot, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive. But when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want. Ah, no good. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now, as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of. Got a piece mm. of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. To Horford. Kyle Cooper. Oh. And he can't keep it in off the block. Man, that was impressive. Changes coming from both sides right now. From long range. Schroeder with the board. LeBron with it up top. His guys holding the big lead. To Schroeder. 4-3. Sixers able to clear the rebound. To Simmons. Nice pass to set things up. Slams it down. Big finish for Joel Embiid. Jay, you know the deal. Keep the touches coming inside. As long as that defense continues to give you high percentage shots, you better take that every time. Stuffs it down with authority. Like my old coach used to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's way too easy. Just keep attacking. It's easy money. Able to convert inside. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. LeBron James with the rock. To Caldwell Pope. James to Schroeder. Let's it fly from long range. Still hasn't hit from deep in the first half. No good. Simmons into the front court. His guys should be able to get the final shot. And one. Embiid, good, through the contact. And going to the line for a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Joel Embiid. At the line for a chance at a three-point play. For his career, 77% at the line. Off the mark on his free throw. A shot 
at the buzzer. A very one-sided first half of basketball as we are at halftime. Let's get you to our NBA Live studios in Orlando and hand it over to Jalen Rose for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Jalen. And it's brought to you by EA Sports. The Lakers have the advantage on the scoreboard at halftime. Clearly, the number of three-pointers these guys scored in the first half was incredible. And if they can keep that up, it's going to be tough to keep that team down. Have a look at the leading scores for the Los Angeles Lakers. The 76ers were in need of a bit more scoring if they won a halftime lead. Of course, they still have two quarters to turn things around, but it won't happen without making some adjustments. Have a look at the leading scores for the Philadelphia 76ers. Game track, defense. The Los Angeles Lakers have been exhibiting some amazing defense in this matchup. Steals on the floor, blocks in the sky. They're dominating on defense all over the floor. Player of the half. The chosen one earns the recognition because of the sheer number of dunks he threw down. One after another, he kept rattling the rim with this awesome slam. Who was cold? What can you say about a guy like this, except that he fits the title of this segment? He was definitely cold in that first half. Top plays, and we've got three of them for you. Number two. Number one. I'm sending it back to Ed and Jay to bring you the rest of the game.
Philadelphia with the basketball. Simmons to Tobias Harris. Nice pass to set things up. And when people talk about vision, people usually talk about the vision to make the pass. But how about seeing the chaos in the traffic before the pass even occurs? That's next level vision. How can I catch people out of position defensively? That's what we saw in that last possession. Right down Broadway for the two. Defender has to pick him up. And attention to detail is everything for a professional score like that. Actually getting it done the hard way. Oh, emphatic slam. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. Pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. Plenty of contact. The shot, no good. That's superb defense. That's the defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. Oh, Dennis Schroeder. Not looking pretty. Three for ten. Bodies bouncing all around on that layup with the offense winning that battle. But if the defense keeps up that kind of pressure, good things are bound to happen. Screen coming. The drive right to the basket. Marcus all with the block. Fourth this contest. Sent a message on that one, Ed. From the painted area, won't go down. To MB. He throws it down. He's been a one-man show, but Jay, they're still down in this one. He's their lone bright star, their only star tonight. Some other of the supporting cast members really need to step up. Davis, he has certainly been on target from downtown. He's four of five from three-point range. Let me tell you why. He's been receiving his passes on time and on target. Give the passer some credit in this scenario as well. Driving right to the basket. He wants it at the rim and scores. Did you see the way that dribble freed him up? It created so much space. I did, but the defender didn't. LeBron into the front court. His guys holding the big lead. Gets it in the right corner. Caldwell Pope to Schroeder. Has a look. Just off the mark. LeBron James sends it away. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. Big slam. Oh, he looked like he was on a mission. Mm. I remember my high school coach said, one man can't beat five. Well, I'm telling you right now, he lied. I'm watching it happen in person. Schroeder to James for three. Oh, LeBron James, not much more the defense could have done. He hits the contested three. And here's the setup, Ed, down the stretch. From a player who's been in these type of positions, eventually I'm going to hit you with a head fake, and you're going to have to jump considering I just made the last couple of threes. And that's when I find an easy way to get to the rim or force the defense to collapse to kick out for, guess what, another one. Gets it to go. Could have been more. A lot of contact, but no foul. No doubt about where that one was headed. To James. Dennis Schroeder. He still can't find his range from deep. It's no good. Finishing inside the paint on that one. You used to hear all these coaches talk about, we need players to run the floor. No, I don't need you to run the floor. I need you to run the floor with purpose. Those are two different things. When you run the floor in attack mode, that's when plays like this occur. Doesn't get the bounce. Here's Simmons with it up top. His guys down big. Harris. Oh, with the foul and a chance coming up at the line. Okay, now we're on the home stretch and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. Jeremy Lamb has got two shots coming. A career 83% free throw shooter. First one, count it. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Los Angeles has the basketball. Davis 
It's been a good night from beyond the arc. He's five of six from deep. It's called room and rhythm, Ed. If you don't crowd him defensively, you allow him to have room, he will find that rhythm from behind the arc. Little r, &R has never hurt anybody, Jay. Now across the timeline comes James. His guys hold a commanding lead. Davis to James. Fires the three. Smothering D. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own hand. Tough make through traffic. This may sound cheesy, but sometimes you just need to sit back, get a tub of popcorn, and just enjoy the show because that's what you're watching right now. Oh, they call the foul, Jay. Welcome to New Age Basketball. You blow on me. That's a foul. That's his third personal foul. Team foul number three. Anthony Davis ah, tips it. And Bede, good for two. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. To James. Here's a chance from long range. Tough shot. Well defended. To Simmons. Josh Richardson. He's three for seven. And I'll never forget one of my first games playing as a rookie with the Bulls. I talked to Steve Nash, and Steve Nash always used to tell me, the more you come out and you get your teammates involved, the easier it will be for you to score down the stretch. Think about it. You come out, you get seven, eight quick assists, then a ball fake on the next possession. Ah, uh, he bit. Easy layup. Oh, it's blocked. You see, that's why you never give up on the play, Ed. You always stay in the game. Reminiscent of LeBron on Iguodala. Simmons to Embiid. With the fadeaway, burns him for the basket. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. Get back, get back. To Caldwell Pope. James, textbook defense. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. James to Gasol. Mark Gasol, looking good, four for five. Hey, one of the things I hear all the great teams say in the huddle, they say one, two, three, no mercy. Now it's time for you to go even harder on the defensive end. Stuffs it down with authority. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's Prob City. To Caldwell Pope, lets it fly from beyond the arc and bead with the board. Off the mark. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. Schroeder with the basketball. His team leads it by 10. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. When I played and I see guys do this all the time, when you shoot, the target isn't the basket. The target is actually before you even go into the shot. The target are your hands defensively. If your hands are down and you give me clear vision towards the bucket, that shot's definitely going up. To James. Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Marcus All. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Simmons with it. The deficit now up to a dozen. And a whistle. Ed, you can't lunge like that. Team foul number four. Los Angeles Lakers are at the limit. Anthony Davis with a piece. Incredible. Six tonight. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Richardson. And 
end up put back slam. Sometimes when the players find that flow, nobody else needs to touch the ball. He's in a zone by himself. To Kyle Kuzma. James. Caldwell Pope knocks it down and the foul. He's going to the line for a chance at a four-point play. And body control is everything, especially on the defensive side of the floor. That was a great contest up top, but your body hit him on the way down. That's a foul every time. Contavious Caldwell Pope with a chance at a four-point play for his career, 78% at the line. Got it. Sixers control it. Cash is in for two. The one thing we know for certain in this league, it doesn't matter how big the margin is, you can always put together a run and get back in this one. James to Caldwell Pope. James buries it. And they're relentless with these long shots. It just seems like their spacing is perfect, and they come down, they know exactly where they want to be, and they're shooting the ball without hesitation. Oh, whistle. Just a tic-tac foul. That's his second personal foul. Hits the first free throw. For the Los Angeles Lakers, number 33, Mark Gasol. Into the game for the 76ers, number two. No back-to-back -back free throws here. He missed the second. Here's Schroeder with it. They lead it by 14. To Caldwell Pope. Going to launch beyond the arc. Not getting the bounce. Anthony Davis swats it. Here's one of the biggest secrets as we move into this new age of basketball. Especially in the draft room. You have to draft players with sides and length. That's the biggest deterrent for any team offensively. To Caldwell Pope. Emphatic slam. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Simmons to Embiid. Simmons to Embiid. Gets a shot up off the mark. To Caldwell Pope. Gasol. Goes to the right side. Schroeder. That's off the side of the rim. No. LeBron James rejects it. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. It's good. Count the basket and the foul. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. LeBron James trying to cash in on a three-point play, shooting 50%, some yes, some no, in this contest. Free throw good to cap off the three-point play as they continue to open things up here in the third quarter. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. Full throttle right to the basket for the deuce. When the ball's in his hands, we all knew what was going to happen. Across midcourt, it's Schroeder. Looking to make something happen. James to Schroeder. 
beyond the arc for three. Can't connect, it's no good. The follow won't go either. And the Lakers able to grab the rebound to Caldwell Pope. The drive right to the basket, and he dunks it down for two. Oh man, you're not supposed to be able to do that with that size, but in today's game, dexterity and mobility are off the charts for bids. Marc Gasol, snatching it out of the air. Make that seven. You know why? I don't see anybody on the deep. Oh, oh, met at the summit, Ed. I was sure that was gonna be a dunk, Jay. What control by the defender. Simmons. Off the iron, no good. Gasol to James. Leaving no doubt, slams it down. Man, they are just continuing to pour it on, but the one thing we know about in this league, you have to make sure that you continue to play with energy because leads can evaporate quickly. Knocked it away! Oh, some fans should take that ball home as a gift. That's a souvenir. Coach has seen enough. He wants some changes. New personnel onto the floor. Oh, that's out. Out of here. It always looks cool, but guess what? You're still on D. Richardson. To Embiid. Layup's good. Those are the types of shots you always strive for. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Caldwell Pope to Davis. Fires the three. Rebound taken by the Sixers. And they call it a simple touch foul. Knocks down the first. Fails to hit them both. Hits the first, misses the second. Perfect feed to set up the basket. There are certain guys in this league that should be put on alert status 24-7 because either they're posterizing you or that attempt can still be a poster. Deep three at the buzzer. That misses with a second to go. Three quarters down, and so far, it's been all Lakers. It'll be Lakers ball as we begin the fourth quarter. And this one, Jay, not totally in the win column yet, but with a double-digit lead, you have to like their chances. I love when I start seeing fans exit the arena so early in this game, and I hear people say, this one should be in the back. Well, guess what? It's never a guarantee. You have to be careful not to slow down the pace of the game and take the air out of the basketball. You have to put your foot on the gas and try to win this game with a sense of urgency. Deep right corner. Kuzma gets it in the left corner to Kyle Kuzma. From long range. That no good off the mark. Embiid. 4-3. Not going down here to Kyle Kuzma. Yes, and the foul, and a chance at three coming up. The defender was actually in a good position there. They even made a decent play on the ball, but sometimes those bounces go the other way. Still, stay aggressive out there. Kyle 
Kuzma at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 70% free throw shooter. Free throw's good. Add one more to the total. This game feels out of reach. Sixers have the basketball. Two MB. And the rebound brought down by Harold to James. It's a big finish. Jay, that's been the story this evening. I mean, another one? Another dunk? Another easy possession? I mean, how demoralizing can this be for the team? Why am I the only one yelling? I don't see anybody on the bench yelling. I don't see anybody on the court even angry right now. And that's going to get out of bounds. Off a of Laker. New blood coming in for both sides. And B. Trying to cash in. He connects. Not the guy you think would beat you. Everybody in the building, including myself, thought that pass was going somewhere else. Fool me once? Okay. But you're definitely not fooling me twice. James to Matthews. Let's it fly from long range. And Wesley Matthews. Zero hesitation from a pure shooter. You live by the three, you die by the three. And guess what? They're living large right now. To Embiid. Short jumper off the mark. To James. Steps it down with authority. You know, it reminds me out of a story a legendary coach once told me. He said, if you ever get in a fight, you're not going to hit somebody with an open hand, correct? You'll probably break a finger. But if you hit somebody with a fist, what is that? That's five fingers working collectively together as one. That's how you deliver a knockout punch. And that's what we're seeing tonight. To the rim, lays it up and in. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Five seconds to shoot. Shot won't go. To James. Come on, come on. Here we go, we got him. Nice finish at the rim. And there's nothing more mentally intimidating for your opponent than when your own teammates are unselfish and make sure that you get the ball because they want you to drop 70 on them, maybe like Devin Booker did last year. Richardson to Embiid. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. And the defense keeps sticking to those flare screens. Just don't flare out to the three-point line. Flare to the rim for a lob. To James. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. See, Ed, that's what I love. You don't need to conserve your energy. You attack that rim with ferocity. You always set the tone. And they call the foul. Careful there, Jim. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Some lineup changes now for both clubs. To Simmons. Marcus all sends it away. Make that 11. MB to Simmons. Called in by James. And you knew this game had a chance to get out of hand pretty quickly because of the communication. When these guys stepped on the court, Ed, they were yapping back and forth to each other. And that kind of communication, that kind of collective responsibility to one another, you feel that on the court. That's why this team is special. Into the front court comes Simmons. Down a bundle. 
to Embiid. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. You know, Ed, I'm down with guys having 35, 40, maybe 50 points in the game. But the one thing you look for in a defensive end, when there's a huddle after a guy has dropped multiple buckets on you in a row, and everybody's quiet, nobody stands up and says, yo, I got him, I'm going to stop him, you're in a worrisome place for your team. Scores from the post. Old school equals high percentage. Philadelphia with the basketball. Montrez Harrell pins it. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Goes to the left side. Matthews. Yes. Or in the case of the defense, not good. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose a dagger with the three. And they call it. Welcome to new age basketball. You blow on me. That's a foul. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Number 42, Al Horford. Entering the game for the Lakers. Number 8, Marquise Morris. And a putback slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. To Matthews. Sixers control it. No good, but two shots coming up for Joel Embiid. Just because a team's winning doesn't mean the refs are going to put away the whistle. Play right all the way through. And he connects on the first free throw. Can't connect on the second, and he splits the pair. To Matthews. For three, Wesley Matthews. He was born to take those shots, even with a hand in his face. It's easy to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch, but great awareness by the shooter to get those toes. The crossover gets inside, and the slam dunk. He's been a one-man show, but Jay, they're still down in this one. He's their lone bright star, their only star tonight. Some other of the supporting cast members really need to step up. James. Fires the three. That's off the side of the rim. Short. Simmons with it. His guy's down big. Los Angeles. They have it. Turns and slams it down. So many people think making assist is creating something razzle and dazzle. Sometimes giving the ball up early is the right play and the most efficient. Simmons to Embiid. Nothing going here on that drive. He shoots, slams it home on the putback. He usually pays his bills doing things around the perimeter. Nice work right there around the rim. To Matthews. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. Hey, you ever bail out of something at the last second? That's what I saw right there from the defender. We call that no man's land. They weren't really committed to getting out of the way, committing a hard foul, or taking the brunt of the contact. Wesley Matthews trying to cash in on the three-point play for his career, 82%. Free throw's good as they continue to widen their lead. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. Count the bucket for two. I know this for a fact, Ed. Ben Simmons wanted to channel his inner Bill Russell during the NBA Awards as he stood up on that stage accepting that Rookie of the Year trophy, looking down at all the people that hated on him and didn't think that after a year of being injured that he can come back and be the one that everybody thought he could be. One of only seven players in NBA history to lead his team to 50-plus wins while accepting the Rookie of the Year trophy.
Montrez Harrell at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Numbers not in his favor. 61% for his career. And hits at the line. Simmons into the front court. He'll run the offense. Plenty of contact. The shot no good. To Matthews. Here's a chance from long range. That out of his range and no good. To Richardson. And the reward, a couple of shots at the line. Okay, now we're on the home stretch, and you got a big lead. Don't let your opponent back in this game by giving up extra possessions. Josh Richardson at the line for two shots. For his career, 78% at the line. First try, no good. So he goes one for two from the line after hitting on the second. Lakers at the controls right now. Over to the right side. Matthews. That's off the side of the rim. No good. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. And showing off the outside touch. Nicely done. Schroeder with the basketball. His guys holding the big lead. Shot from in close, no good. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. Ed, I have so much admiration for guys that continue to hunt their shot. They're playing the second half like it was the first five minutes of the ball game. Those natural-born leaders are guys that will consistently lead your team to the promised land. Knocked loose. Couldn't keep it in. Out off Jeremy Lamb. James goes to the right side. Dennis Schroeder. He was 0 for 6 to start. Let's see if that 3 turns things around. Well, there's this old saying, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. This is why you've been practicing in the offseason so hard. You never let one miss deter you from taking the next. Simmons. To MB. Using the post to his advantage there and the finish at the rim. It's that easy, Ed. You never want to leave any doubt when attacking the rim. That's a five-second violation. The opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. Number 33, Tobias Harris. Simmons to Embiid. Can't connect from in close. Matthews. Now the Lakers gonna use a timeout as they'll talk things over here in this fourth quarter.
time for some new personnel into the game. That's a five second violation. down clearly not afraid of the spotlight here because that was not an easy look oh we have a five second violation from the painted area won't go down lebron into the front court his guys hold a commanding lead off the assist. You know, from a point guard perspective, one of the things that I learned when I played in the league was that the more I was willing to give the ball up, the harder other players were willing to run to their spots. The harder the bigs were running to the rim. The harder the three-point shooters were running to the three-point line because they knew they could be active recipients. And when they caught the ball, they knew exactly what to do with it. Schroeder to Caldwell Pope. They'll get it down low to Harrell. Mm, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. To Simmons. Marc Gasol. Huge block. That's 12 now. Jesse racing mistakes left and right. Throws it down. At this point, they're twisting in the wind. Were you looking for a response from me? Because I don't really know what else there is to even say. I mean, is this even a game? I mean, we should just start packing up and getting ready to go right now. And he's going to the free throw line. Sometimes when you get up big, you get a little careless. But attention to detail through the end, that's how you avoid unnecessary fouls. Ben Simmons, a couple of free throws on the way. Shooting just 42% in the contest. First try at the line, no good. Missed the second one as well. Here's Schroeder with it. Looking to make something happen to James. One minute remaining in the fourth quarter. Schroeder won't go down. Hey, lock up, lock up. Simmons. To Embiid. And now a reach, and that's going to be an intentional foul. Free throws here in the final minute of play. He took a chance. That's the right call. Nope. The first one does not go. Missed the second as well. To Caldwell Pope. And look out. Big finish at the rim. I know there's that old saying that says one man can't beat five, but we're watching one man carry four other players. His back has to be hurting. Another big time finish. Oh, working hard there. Collects the rebound and gets it back up for the slam. He's a relentless scorer. It doesn't matter if you stop him once. He's going to keep coming at you time and time again. Now a steal by Philly. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. What's going on? Jay, I don't know if you call that the shooter's touch, but they will take it. Well, essentially, the touch did help the ball go in, Ed. I don't know. I might have to agree to disagree on that. The Lakers get the victory as they cruise to win a game that was never really in doubt. For Jay Williams and all our crew, I'm Ed Cohen saying so long for now. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports.
It's Jalen Rose, and it's time for the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Lakers put one in the win column with a solid performance. Sometimes a team can hurt itself by being so aggressive on defense, and sometimes a team can guarantee itself a win by using defensive aggression in a focused way, like we saw here today. Check out the leading scores for the Los Angeles Lakers. The 76ers put up a fight, but didn't get their hands raised at the end. And even though some of them smiled and shook hands with the other guys after the game, you can tell by the way they headed to the tunnels how disappointed they were about this loss. Check out the leading scores for the Philadelphia 76ers. Game track. Defense. Player of the game. These are the top plays of the game. Number two. Here are the upcoming games for the Los Angeles Lakers. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. We look forward to seeing you again next time.